Hi, my name is Al Walid Abdul Gadir. I'm presenting today a short video on single port laparoscopic subtotal colectomy for acute refractory Crohn's colitis on behalf of Professor Peter Neary, University Hospital Ward for the Department of Academic Surgery. So this is a 39 years old lady presented with acute or chronic refractory Crohn's colitis that's not responsive to medical treatment and she has been optimized nutritionally before her operation. The stoma site was pre-marked preoperatively at the right iliac fossa where normally the stoma has been created. It started a circular incision wound and entered the peritoneum and a placement of a size 5 cm gel port. So a single port subtotal colectomy has gone through uh, this port. The dissection has started with mobilization of the ascending colon and division with a hook and lateral mobilization of the ascending colon and also using of a ligature device to mobilize creation of a window uh, below the ilicolic pedicle and division of the ilicolic pedicle further dissection and mobilization of the hepatic flexure and here you can see that we are mobilizing the transverse musicolon you can see the stomach just lateral to the left on the window so mobilization of the transverse musicolon down to the spleen area Here we started mobilizing lateral to the sigmoid colon and creation of a space across the line of tools with careful separation and mobilization with the ligature device. You can see the iliac vessels and the ureter is in close proximity to this area. Mobilization started distally towards the descending colon and the spleen area. In this area, you can see the ureter is glimpsing here in the screen. Medial mobilization of the sigmoid with the creation of the window and the mesentery was proximal division of the mesocolon toward the spleen using a stabling device we divided the rectosigmoid junction and we freed the sigmoid colon with this continuing mobilizing toward the spleen area. careful division with the ligature device after mobilizing all the areas and division of the colon we extracted the specimen through this uh, right iliac fossa stoma port we didn't, ha we didn't have to make any large incision to take our specimen and the specimen has been removed on its own with this right iliac fossa stoma port. The advantage of this procedure is quick recovery of the patients because there is no other incision sites and also you can see here division of the terminal ileum with the GIA stabilizer device. Following this, you can see the whole specimen down here removed. Creation of the end iliostomy at the stoma side finally. So the operative time on this procedure approximately three hours, which is 
comparable to the multifold total colectomy operation as shown in the literature. The patient has a quicker recovery and discharge on day five postoperatively due to strong medication and training. The important factor to uh, include multidisciplinary team and patient careful selection. Thank you.